Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to Impacts. Impacts is a video teaching series where I try to help nurture your faith in, your commitment to, and your relationship with Jesus Christ. So, do you ever have in your mind an image of what life is supposed to be like? Do you walk around with dreams of what you want to happen, hopes of how things should work out? And when you do, have you ever looked around and noticed that Life just doesn't always follow your plans. You know, we all face those kinds of disappointments and struggles. We face circumstances that we don't want, that we don't plan on. But the good thing is that as Christians, we need to remember we don't face those times alone. There's a verse in Romans 8, verse 28, uh, uh, that we should look at. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. You know, sometimes life seems to be spiraling out of control, but exactly in those times we need to remember that God is very much at work accomplishing His will in the midst of all that we're going through. And that's what we're going to be talking about this morning. So come on, let's get started. You know, one of the most prolific hymn writers in the history of the church is a lady named Fanny Crosby. It is said that Fanny Crosby wrote over 8,000 hymns. 8,000 hymns. That is amazing. But what is even more amazing is when you think of her life. You see, when Fanny was like six weeks old, she underwent surgery. And because of the incompetence of the doctor, because of a mistake that this man made, she was left blind. Because of his error, she was left to live a life in darkness. But that's only when we look at her circumstances through our human eyes. Because the reality is, she very much lived in the light of Christ. Her faith was so deep, it moved her to write these beautiful hymns that expressed her faith, but also serves to continue to encourage us and strengthen us in our own faith. You know, sometime before uh, Fanny Crosby passed away, she said, If perfect earthly sight were offered me tomorrow, I would not accept it. I might not have sung hymns to the praise of God if I had been distracted by the beautiful and interesting things about me. Fanny did not allow her circumstances to define who she was. She didn't allow her circumstances to define her faith or the way that she viewed God. And I wish that everybody was that way. You know, over the years, I've contrasted the story of Fanny Crosby with another lady. This lady also underwent surgery as a child, and unfortunately, the doctor was under the influence of uh, some, some drugs or alcohol or something, that's not so important. But what is important is because of his addiction problems, he left her crippled, maimed, in, uh, in a life of pain. And sadly, this lady never could forgive that doctor. But more importantly, she never could forgive God. Throughout her life, she continued to blame God for her problems. She never could reach that point where she accepted God's grace and could see God. She was so focused on and trapped by her circumstances that she was, she was really blinded by that. You know, we, we face things that don't go our way, but we have to be careful not to allow those circumstances to define the way we see the world around us. We need to trust and know that God is very much at work, even when things are not going the way we want. Well, look. Here's my challenge to you. I want you to spend this week looking beyond your circumstances. Look beyond the particulars of your life and see how God is working in you. See how God is working in the lives of people around you in the world around you. And then put your trust in Him. See the great things, even if things aren't perfect in your life, and I bet they aren't because they're not perfect in mine. I don't know that they're perfect in anybody. But God is very much there. So look beyond your circumstances and see how God is working. But I also challenge you, encourage you, to pull up and read or listen to or sing one of Fanny Crosby's uh, best-known hymns, Blessed Assurance. It is a testimony to her faith and a challenge to us to live a life of faith in spite of our circumstances. 
Well, look, I want to thank you for joining me this week for this uh, impact video, and I do hope you will share it with others. If you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then I hope that you'll join me next week. Until we get together again, I continue to pray for God's blessings to be with you.